Sky Taurus. Welcome to SoapQuest Energy. We are here to synergize with you for the month of August 2015. I'm Spen. I'm Hope. And we are going to jump into your soap scope right away and give you some astrological stuff that's happening in your month. It's a huge month, a lot of energy, and you guys are going through something I think beautiful. Very spiritual. In the end, I think it's going to be really beautiful, like new sprouts on the vine. It really is not. It's, well, our keyword. Our keyword for the month of August is growth. growth. Now let's recap. All right. Okay. So for June, we went through security was your keyword. What makes us secure? You know? What do we need? What do we need? Yep. Uh, then for July, your keyword was meditate, listen. Did you hear from yourself? Did you hear from yourself? Did, did you listen to yourself? Did you hear from your own soul? Yeah. You know, because this month, for the month of August, it's about growth. You're going to integrate it all, and you're going to work through the energies, and you're going to be tested. Exactly. Saturn, Saturn is testing us in Leo and shining his sun. Or excuse me, the sun is shining its energy on all of us to understand self. Saturn is still in Scorpio, which is about self-definition. It is, and you know, goes. it's interesting because it's a last pass. This is a generational transit. It's generational. So this was a 29-year, almost 30-year transit, and so it's wrapping up. So if you're old enough mm -hmm. to have lived through, all the way through it, right. uh, you're coming up on a major karmic lesson exactly. that's going to finalize and then begin anew. Exactly. And, and that's all young us. enough, you need to make the decisions. And the decisions that you're making with Jupiter squaring Saturn yeah. is who or what yes. do you really want or need to be? Because it's going to carry you for a good Another portion of 29, your life. almost 30 years. Right? So it's this probably gonna, feeling heavy. Right? If you're in your early 20s, this is going to bring you into your 50s. Yeah, you know this is this is the time now to make that decision and to make that growth. And the reason we're talking about it in such in that way is because August is Leo time, mm -hmm. and Leo is the king of the jungle. Leo has a sense of who he is. He knows who he is. Leo he knows, knows what he wants. So you're you're feeling that. You're feeling your mind, body, and spirit speaking to you. I hope you heard last month from your emotions to tell you. The emotions are like the indicator light in the car. They tell you what's going on. Mm -hmm. So if you were listening to your emotions and you were getting an idea of what it was about your life that you really want to put into motion to go forward for the next 30, 30 years, years, these are major life yeah. decisions, right? So we have, we've got some tools for you. There's certain things that we think that maybe you want to be wary of and certain things that we, we think you are going to want to just go for it and, and start anew with with this or that. Well, I'm being vague, but we'll go through it. Okay. Right? Let's, Let's jump ahead. right into the cards. Let's do that. All right. So the issue for the month is the Four of Wands, which, love it. which is telling us that you want to build a new lasting foundation really do and your four of wands strong that is stability right. so it's the issue i think the issue, this is saying you know good job good job you know you're like mind body spirit on the earth figuring right. it out putting up my wands i think you went through june doing your budget or figuring out the details that you mm -hmm. needed to figure out about how to build it and last month why to build it exactly because you were emotional okay. cancer yes what do I value? Emotions. What do I build it with? Yeah. Right? And this, now you're going to integrate that growth. Now you're going to start you're building. You're going to put stuff on the inside. Yeah. You know? It's like a painting. It's like that. that's the frame. And now you can paint your life. You really can. And we know that because of your karma. But we'll, we'll, get, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to it. All right. Because the form that your issue, your foundation for the month is taking is the Six of Cups. Yeah. Which is telling us we think that you're reflecting on your past. I think for anybody that's like under the age of 35 specifically, yeah. you guys are very likely looking at your childhood. Yeah. And you're asking yourself the question, what did I learn from my parents' marriage, perhaps? On the or 8th of course, August, when Mars goes into Leo, I'm sorry yeah. I need to speak over you, but on the 8th of August when Mars goes into Leo, that is going to be 
about family origins. That's going to it be is. questioning the conditioning that you've been through on what is yeah. the ideal family. And if you family. have any childhood issues, you know you're gonna you're gonna look back on those and you're gonna yeah. see how they've taught you. Mm -hmm. And in Leo, we learn how to, how to individuate. Mm -hmm. We learn that we take from our parents with us the things that we know we are, and we change the things that our parents hadn't learned when we were young, when we were five, and we were taking all that on board. They hadn't learned that yet. They hadn't been through those life lessons yet. So they, you know, their problems at the time when you were imprinted. Uh, are not the same problems that you're going to have. So as an individual in Leo, when the sun gives you its full energy to be yourself, you're going to go out in the world and build your foundation, learn what you can from the past, and then be self. One thing we need to know is the energy for the month, for this month, yeah. is ego versus humility. It's true. Which is also denial versus truth. Because in our ego, we think that we know who we are on the earth, you know? We know we have, you know, ten fingers, ten toes, that kind of thing. But that's just the 40 trillion cells of us. Mm -hmm. We're so much more. We're a spirit. We're a quantum soul that doesn't even understand time-space. When you die, you don't die, right? Mm -hmm. it, it, energy transforms, right? Energy doesn't, that's not created nor destroyed. So this is a bigger thing. This is a bigger awareness of who you really are and, and who you're really growing need. to be. Exactly. And who you want to be, and you know your soul tells you, mm -hmm. it does. So and you've been listening for the yeah. whole month of July. You've been listening. I think one of the problems that they're going to have, going from the July energy into the August energy, going from the meditate listen energy into the growth energy, is the flow of the energies one into the other. Right. And that's where the difficulties might lie. You're gonna feel it, guys. You're gonna feel it. The first ten days of the month, Jupiter square Saturn. Yeah. And. Uh, you know, that sheds a lot of awareness on anything in your life that is your, ma your major problem. You're gonna, your problems are going to, uh, you know, rear their head. And the reason is so that you can solve them, mm -hmm. right? So take on board that you are going to, it's like working out, right? You don't, have, you know, you don't have a muscle. And so you work out and you pump that and pump it and pump it and you watch your muscle grow. Sometimes it's painful. You, you shed a lot of sweat. So it's a month like that. You're going to use fire energy to do that, building the muscle. You're building your soul. You're building your mind, body, spirit, connectedness, right? Exactly. And that's beyond ego. That actually brings you into the humility of understanding you're a part of the whole. Exactly. And you have a great purpose. And we need you. We need exactly. you, Taurus. We need you to be a part of the solution. That's right. You know? Every wedge in the zodiac is the clock that needs to turn and uh, and balance out the, the whole of our planet. See, what we know, what, what you feel for the month of August is the Three of Swords. And what we got from this yeah, different than normal. is completely so different. different. Go ahead and speak on that because it really came to you. It, it, I think it's just, and we so agreed it, we both felt it. This is about what, you know, it's like we think with our swords. Swords are thoughts, right? So you're thinking up in two, almost two different ways. Here's you in the center, and there's two paths. There's right. two directions. Do I do it like my parents? Mm -hmm. Something I'm familiar with, something that I know. Do I choose that path that has been traveled and traveled and traveled? Or do I have a new way that's more me, that fits what I value and what my principles are, what my... Um, value system is really I mean right. it's just the path that has not been traveled it's new territory it's new waters and you know we are changing because we're coming to new age of Aquarius so uh, the planet's changing mm -hmm. well, you know it, it, it's ever changing and ever evolving so you're a part of that so this is deciding from your heart who you are yeah right exactly. is that kind it's of deciding what, from what else your did heart? you get that's exactly what I got. Yeah, okay. That's where the decision is coming from. It really Your is. Heart. You need to make the choice. Which path am I going to go with what I know? Or am I going to go with what I think it should be like? Like, it's like you know how to build the structure of a marriage or the structure of family or how to be a friend. The things you learn from childhood. 
but you're doing it in your own way and you're using your own tools. Do you use bricks, straw, heck? Right. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, you understand the metaphor. Uh, what you do you need in your life to be happy? Yeah, they've seen how, you've seen how it's been done. Right. But you have a different vision and you have a different way of thinking of how it should be done. So you're at that crossroads. You're right. at that path right now and you're standing in the middle and you're like, which way do I go? I mean, you're choosing your tribe, mm -hmm. right? Who to build with, mm -hmm. um, you know, and how. So and what you're thinking about it is that you, you're feeling alone. You're feeling like I'm going to have to leave something behind. It's the Five of Pentacles. I think this is about separating the wheat from the chaff. Mm -hmm. yeah, about, yeah, yeah, taking on board what you've learned that you know is wise and applies to your life today in the modern world. Mm -hmm. And letting go of the chaff that doesn't apply to the new modern way or uh, doesn't agree with you. You're a singular soul. You're a singular snowflake, exactly. like, right? So it also may mean that somebody is making you feel like if you choose this other path, well then, judgy, judgy, judgment will be cast. Don't let the judgy McJudgersons choose yeah. your life. No, because the quote for the month, for you guys, <laughs> and this fits right here, Okay, is we got it from, um, there's one of my favorite websites, um, it's called Wake Up World, Yeah, and this is where I got this quote from. And the quote is, people who say it cannot be done should not interrupt those who are doing it. So do it your way. Do it your way. And we see that we need to encourage you to do this because, you know, what what you do know about yourself. I think, and especially in the month of August in Leo season, Leo the lion stands up and says, look at me, I am strong, I am a leader. So you're going to feel that sense of self. It's a healthy ego. As long as you're not denying who you really are, not denying the truth, truth of who you are, right. and you're humble in the fact that you're just a part of the whole, but you are yourself, mm -hmm. you're using your ego well to stand on your chariot. Yeah. And look at the two roads. Career woman, married woman, or both. Or, you know, whatever the choices may be. Right. This person. Whatever that foundation that is that you want to build, whether it be career, personal, Whatever. Because Saturn is making you do that all month. And Mercury is going to make you speak and communicate it. You need to stand up for yourself in speech in a, in a positive way that, that, that let, let your ego work for you. Let it help define you. And let your definition. In the truth of humility. Yes, happen from the, hum, from the humility of understanding uh, that you were given gifts for a reason and they're not to be wasted, right? They're not. They're to be used, utilized. So if you know who you are and you know what your gifts are, bring them. You're ready to move forward. You are. You are. You are, and you're weathering anything. And what you need to know about yourself is the Knight of Swords. That's awesome. You've made a decision. It's like, make it go. You're going to do it. Yeah. You're not going to have any problems. You're in the fire month. You are. You're, You're going to work gonna it. You're going to get it done. You really are. Yeah. So know that. Know that. I mean, check out the chick, right? She's like yeah. Lara Croft. She she decides she goes. She, she can handle anything. This chick can handle anything. The chariot. And this is a major arcana card. It's telling you this. The, the chariot always moves towards success. So whether you're successfully trying to choose between two people to date, or success, or trying to uh, choose, choose a career, path. yeah, yeah, or moving where live, major you're gonna decisions. Be successful. Yeah, don't worry, you're gonna, don't worry, you're it. gonna make it through the storm. Of the really, the energy weekend. flows are really don't get stuck on one lesson. And with these cards, the chariot and the yeah. knight of swords, you're not going to get stuck nah, on do one it. lesson. You're gonna learn it. You're gonna learn it. And this you're generational forward. lesson. Yeah, Saturn. You guys have been doing the work. Saturn and Scorpio, self-definition, you guys really are. Here's what I want to say, though. I do want to say this to the young singles, um, or really to any singles, at this time, Jupiter squaring Saturn um, and Venus being in retrograde this month says to us, 
that you need closure on the things that are that have ended that you know are not good for you for your soul path they don't make you feel good they're not making you happy it's healthy to have the boundaries to, to say okay done with that karma paid lesson learned have closure and move forward it's also a time to take your time before jumping into getting married buying a home Venus is in retrograde so that Venus rules love and money and beauty don't oh yeah surgeries no plastic surgeries at this time no tattoos at this time wait 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 Venus being retrograde is not a good time for that thank you Nadia Shaw for reminding me of that one that's a brilliant piece of advice we should all follow and uh, darn it what I want to get our tattoos I know it means we have to wait we have to wait okay. and we'll get that's okay infinity mm -hmm. so anyway but anyway. that that's that right so really but just so you know, on the 11th of August, Jupiter is going to enter Virgo. See, that's good. That's life altering, but it's knowing you chose correctly. It is because you've looked at it and you're seeing it clearly with the full light of the sun yeah. in, in, in it's so telling you. So welcome that energy. Self. Exactly. Because then you will know you chose correctly and you will move forward and you will do it correctly. And what yeah. you have working for you. This is so good. Is that time? It's the Seven of Pentacles. I mean, seriously, we laid the term. Went, oh, are, can you believe this? It's exactly the same thing here. I know. It just the, the, the astrology is exactly doing the job it needs to do on you. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> and getting it done. That's right. The Seven. Of you're Pentacles. you're growing. Yeah, you're you're reprioritizing, and you're getting things. Your ducks are in a row. I think you guys have been doing that for a couple of months anyway. I think that you've really made progress in your career. Uh, or at, what, if you've moved, I think you've already made progress. This is going to be more about internal growth, about knowing what you really want out of life, mm -hmm. and going forward in that. This stuff, I think mean, this is going to you're going to do this. It's going to be a breeze. Breeze. It's a breeze for you. You guys do this every day anyway. Very easy. You know, you got a lot on your shoulders. You handle it and you you push through. And this guy knows what he's doing. He checks. He's got checks and balances on his life, and that's Virgo. That's going to make you do that, right? This exactly. month, yeah. Because your your challenge for the month is going to be the Ten of Pentacles. With that being said, Venus, yeah, exactly. It sucks, but truthfully, when Venus goes into retrograde, it's not like money pours in. It's it's like we have to manage our money and not spend too much. It's also about the definition of love. True, internally, internally. Because your definition of love. You're right. And that's your challenge. What is your definition of love? So whatever and this path is, and family. Yeah. It really, I think it it's really has to do with the definition of love for them. That's really good. You Whether it can be in their work, what do they love to do? Yeah. In their personal life, who do they love and how do they love? Right, and don't get overwhelmed with uh, the emotional stuff from last month and feeling like you might be still be in a storm. Mm, first 10 days for sure, you know, it's going to, problems are going to be, you know, you're going to have light on your problems and you're going to need to deal with them. It's just the way it is in, re in relationships, you know, in your internal and in your external world, you're going to be busy and you're going to look back at your childhood. So it's a busy month for really problem solving. It is. Isn't it? It is. Which brings about the medicine card, which you, you chose the rabbit this month. And the rabbit is about fear. Mm. What you resist will persist. What you fear most is what you're manifesting and that's what's going to happen. So you need to be very conscious exactly. about what you're fearing. It's like, do these girls look scared to you? No, they're working. They're working hard. They're building something, right? So do this. Use your bull energy in the fi in fire to do this, to build, to build your life. And then don't worry about what isn't working and has to go because you don't have time for the things that don't propel you into new growth. Exactly. Don't yeah. fear new growth. Because that's what fear comes from. Fear yeah. comes from when we're going, I want to do this, but I have to do this. I want to do this, but I have to do this. Or... Which path should I choose? Should I go with what I know? Or should I go with what I want to do and what I want, what my idea is? 
you know, and that's sort of a fear of learning something new, which we also saw for them because school. You know, it may be, uh, there may be some young people, some of you guys are young out there, and you yeah. guys are really looking at school and taking the courses, and it's a good time to think about that. Yeah. A uh, new semester. Yeah. The 8th, uh, the 7th to the 27th. Yeah. Mercury with Jupiter yeah. into Virgo, which is about fun and play, but it's also about... You could be choosing classes or a career path. It's a good time to go back to school. It is. It really is expanding your mental capacity. You yeah. are thinking bigger, literally. And Virgo thinks not just analytically, yeah. but systematically. It's putting something in place mentally. It's it's choosing, yeah. right? It's making priorities. And school might come up for some of you. Exactly. Or going back to school. So that's a good thing. That's a, that'll be a good time. Trying to get married this month. If you're already set up to get married, congratulations and don't worry it. Law of attraction. Okay? Seriously. Don't do it on the 21st. It was meant that's to all be. I'm gonna say. August 21st, the sun is gonna square Saturn. Yeah. And that's gonna be Murphy's Law. Okay, but we will say it's just if you're day. getting married on that day for any reason, if you are, Ooh. you laugh. 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 If you break a heel, laugh. If if the the guy who's driving your limo's late, laugh. laugh. Find reason, slap, and then when you get up to the in front of the aisle, you know, at the uh, altar, and it, and get everybody sitting there, and fourteen things have gone wrong, make laugh. them laugh. Yeah, make them laugh. That's very good. You know, because very good. That's the day when things are just gonna be weird. It's just one day. <laughs> it's just gonna be a really rough day. It's gonna be a Murphy's Law of Attraction day. So Murphy's Law. Of Everybody's day. gonna be going through it. It is. Everybody is. And but right. right after that, though, you're gonna have some groovy days where you feel really good. So, our best advice for you for the month of August is the upside down hanged man. Yay! You, you don't have to wait. You don't. No more waiting. It's time. It's time. It's Leo month. It's time to put self as a priority. Mm -hmm. To keep the ego in check by having your humility, which means not being in self-denial. Not being getting in, stuck on one lesson. Yeah. Being in self-truth. Mm -hmm. And then doing something with it. And like... I'm me. I'm good. I like myself. I'm going forward. Beautiful. Your karmic lesson for the month? Love it! It's the Queen of Cups. So beautiful. That is great love. I always, you know, I look at this queen and she can let me put yeah. it closer. I love this queen because to me, this queen is toasting her own light. Yeah. That is kindness, reverence, and gratitude. That's what that looks like. To us, kindness, reverence, and gratitude is the definition of love. It's love in action. It's loving your life. Exactly. It's loving everybody that you come across. It's loving humanity. And it's loving your own it's life. It's loving yourself. It is. It is. Kindness, reverence, gratitude. It covers love completely as a whole. You start within yourself, practicing mm -hmm. kindness to yourself. No and more gratitude ugly to thoughts yourself. about yourself. Right. And like Oprah and Deepak said, yeah. Dr. Oprah said, gratitude is grace. It That's grace. how you bring grace. Yes. It is. It's true. And that in action mm -hmm. uh, is like a ripple on a pond and it affects everybody else in your periphery and blesses them. Exactly. And, um, you know, isn't that what we want? We want to be a blessing to others, right? Part of the solution. Exactly. And we so, need you, Taurus. Yeah. So the underlying situation is the Ace of Cups. It's what you can't really see, what you're not really aware of throughout the month. The Holy Grail is there for yeah. you. It's this, the cards are telling you whatever you were waiting on, sacrificing for, mm -hmm. time's done. It's time, time to move on, time to move forward. You've learned from looking at your parents, you've learned from looking at the family dynamics you grew up in, and you've learned what you would like to, to keep the same and do as a tradition, and what you'd like to do differently. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. That's what Leo teaches us. It's okay to be ourselves. Holy and completely ourselves. Yeah? Exactly. That's a good and beautiful thing. I love that so much. And what they don't see is the this real is, fortune. Yeah. It's a Ooh. good time for a good change. Yeah. A change that you want, that you want. It's what you're ready to do. The chariot, you are ready to do this. This is what you know about yourself. I know, right? And you're going to do it. It's this is what you need to know about yourself because it's time. Divine timing. Yeah. But divine timing also means that our free will is part of it. It's part of the equation. We have to turn that wheel of fortune. 
to get that wedge of the, of the circle that we want. So in order to put out our energy that way, we have to spin the wheel just a bit. It's, this is about will and that it's time to exact your will. And isn't that what, what Leo is, really? Mm -hmm. Leo is the king of the jungle, knows who he is, and goes out and loves, protects, brings optimism. It's all exactly. good. It's all good. It's good. It's good. It's hard work. Growth is hard work. But it's good. But it's worth it. It's always worth it. You gotta love that. All right, so let's get to your oracles. Oh, yes. Yeah, we want to talk the, about this for all just right. a second. We got the throat chakra. This is important. Which is, I speak my truth and encourage others to speak theirs. Right. So again, okay. denial okay. versus truth, ego versus humility. Yeah. You got hair? I do. I felt a hair. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> ego versus humility. It's about this, you know. Speak your truth. Know your truth. Know who you are. Never apologize for who you are. No. There's no reason to. No. Never. We need you exactly as you are. Exactly. Exactly as you were gifted in the code of your spiraling DNA. Yeah. You were born exactly right to do exactly the job you came to do. And you have to believe that when you need to stand up and speak that truth, you will. And when you do that, when you do that, your whole energy shifts and changes and you see the world in a whole new way. You get excited. Yeah, and you got angel therapy as well. It's Archangel Raphael. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. I love that. Mm -hmm. Raphael is the healing angel. And you've done healing. You've done some healing. And you're, now you're making choices how to go forward mm -hmm. from it. I think that you found some closure on something. Or if not yet, please you do. Yeah. Please find your closure because... You know, this tells us it's the time now. It really is. Right. This is about an inner revolution, right? It, it teaches that we have to understand ourselves well so that we don't self-betray. At the end of the month, we have a full moon on the 29th. Yeah. And that's going to be Neptune conjuncting Neptune and opposing Jupiter. The full moon conjuncts yes. Neptune. Yeah. So that's about have faith. It is. And good karma. It is. It, you know, Neptune is, Neptune is where we find our dreams. And it, it, it poses Jupiter, which means that it's going to feel limited. You're going to feel limited to dreams. So you have to have faith. You have to build your faith. You have to work at your new definition of self. And that brings about good karma. Karma paid and then yeah. a new karmic cycle that will be generational too this month. So... This is really about looking at the big picture and seeing how important self is. Yeah. Being a, honoring self. Honoring yourself. Honoring self. Not your ideal of who you should be, but who you, who you really, really are. are. Right? Words and all, right? Yeah. All of it. Good, bad, nothing. Words and all. Words and all. Love it. Yeah. All right then. <laughs> Well, that pretty much covers your weather for your cosmosphere for the month of August. Yeah, we want to help people see beyond the atmosphere. You know, you hear the weather every day. You take an umbrella if it's going to rain. But you know what? You can actually measure the energies and the weather beyond our atmosphere. Take it out to the planets and uh, into the cosmosphere. Into the, what we call the cosmosphere. That's what we call it. That's what we're doing. We're helping give you the no, understanding we are. We are also incorporating a song of the month. Yeah. We're not going to play it, but we're going to spread it around. Well, our song for the month of August, for every house, is It's Amazing by Jem, J-E-M. It's we a great encourage song. you. Look it up. Listen to it. It's a great song. And it's a great song for the month of August. It's about being all you can be and really understanding yeah. self. And that is Leo. That is Leo. Yeah. And, uh... Don't let your ego go crazy overboard, and yeah. don't be so humble that you can't move. Yeah. So really, find some, that center self. Yes. And we thank you so much for all your likes, all your shares, all the subscribers out there. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank We're you. So we great. love you. Thank We're you. so happy that you've come and joined us on our self quest, and we really look forward to this journey with you. Yeah. And if you need any personal readings or any insight that we can give to you. Um, email us at selfquest at yahoo.com and come visit our website, yeah. selfquest.com.
Our resources page is being built now so that you can come and uh, walk through those doors. Exactly. Um, there's so many websites there that can help you uh, in so many different ways. Mind, body, or spirit. So you bunch might, of our favorites. You might want to go check that out. Exactly. Yeah. Pique your curiosity. I know. And right. as always, we want to leave you with kindness, reverence, and gratitude. Those are love words. in action. It's our definition live that of love every day. That's how you find it. And that's, that's how, how you spread you, it. That's how you spread it. And that's how you live it. That. We need that. That's how the world is going to heal. And we need you, Taurus. We need you to 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 spread that. And toast your life. Yeah. Toast your life. Green cups. Great love. Toast your life. Alright guys. Alright. Love ya. See you next month. See you next month. Bye. Bye.